Hello, my name is Igor, and in this video I'm testing uh, silk gold and marble PLA filaments, and they are sent to me by Azure Film for a review. About the silk type of the filaments, uh, probably I'm not telling you big news that they are not ma made from silk. It's just an expression, something like uh, shiny or similar. And of course, we have the same case uh, with the marble PLA. But this test will be mostly about silk gold because I got the whole spool from the marble pile I get, got only 50 gram sample filaments. About uh, silk type of the filaments, uh, usually they have different additives and uh, they may result higher risk of clogging and a weaker layer of bed adhesion. So that's why here the higher uh, printing temperatures are recommended. Uh, now here in the box I can see some icons and uh, this is no jamming, less warping, so maybe these problems are solved here. It will be tested, of course. On the sticker, I can see that, that here we have higher uh, recommended printing temperatures between 220 and 230 for printing and 80 degrees Celsius for the bed temperature. <laughs> these settings are almost for my PETG printing. On Marble PLA, uh, printing settings are the same, only the recommended bed temperature is 60 degrees Celsius, as usual for PLA. Just for comparison, uh, from Azure Film I have the regular PLA, and here we have those uh, used uh, temperature between 190 and 210 degrees Celsius, and 60 degrees recommended bed temperature. Let's see what's in the box. It looks very good on the spool, we will see how it uh, performs when the object is printed. Of course, the, my first test will be a benchy where I can see the overhang, the bridging, quality of the surface. But I also want to check that uh, weaker bed adhesion. So I print test it with, with the PI sheet, so I print it in my Prusa Mark 3S. And also I will print it on my Ender 3 V2 where I have the texture glass. And uh, I'm also very curious about that theoretical weaker uh, layer adhesion. So I print some test specimens I will, and I will compare it uh, to the regular PLA to see on tensile test how it will perform. Okay, let, let's start with the Benchy. Theoretically I bought this as a gold filament, but it's, it's more like a brown. So huge difference. There's the first layer. Looks good so far. These are my printing settings for this seal gold filament. And this is the famous Benchy. I'm very curious how will it stick to this printing surface. Quick check. Okay, six to printing, but very good. I will wait to cool down and then I will take it off easily. It's cooled down now, uh, it should be easy to take it off. <laughs> yeah. hmm. oh, wow, I'm very impressed so far. So, this surface looks really good. Overhangs were printed correctly, bridging also. And uh, let's see, this is now in the daylight, so I will let you to make the decision yourself. My next printing will be on Ender 3 V2, because I'm very curious how will this calibration cube stick to the glass surface. It's very strong, so that's not a problem at all. I'll wait to cool down and then probably it will be very easy to take it off. Very soon. It sticks good to the bed.
And if gold, then let's print some ring. This is my old design from uh, that uh, color CD printing in one of my previous videos. But this time, this is in uh, silk gold filament. Now, be careful with CD printed rings as a gift. I tried to give one to my wife half year ago, but uh, that trying cost me a small fortune. Okay, so try to investigate a little bit uh, before you give it to your I know, girlfriend or your wife. I didn't dare to ask my wife to be a model here, so I put on my finger to see how it looks like. My next idea is to print some trophy cups. Now I have some cups here. These are from my open water swimming time, but these are a little bit too big. Not so long time ago I was open water swimmer before this pandemic situation. But signs that all swimming pools are closed here in Hungary and I'm just a fat YouTuber now. So here I have some smaller cups and this looks good. It is small and it, it has some marble base so it will be a good opportunity to test both type of the filaments. Actually this is bronze for third place but it will do the job for comparison. So I want to create something similar and to compare with this cup. And these are my design steps in Fusion 360. I will upload the STL file to my website so you can download it. Uh, and that version will not have this logo, so you can modify it even with the Tinkercad, for example, to add your logo or some different text. And since I wasn't sure that these two materials will stick to each other, I print them separately and uh, I will just glue them at the end. So this is the upper part, the gold color and here they are side by side but we also need the bottom part which will be in marble PLA filament and I use here almost a half of the sample filaments here you can see the centering pin which will be used only to position the upper part but uh, they will be glued to each other and here it is on the daylight I'm very impressed with this small cup. It looks very nice in uh, in real life, even better. And of course, if gold PLA, then let's print some coins. My first attempt was to print it in horizontal position. The side looks great. And also the top of the printing is acceptable. Only the back side, the bridging never looks good as a surface. Then I decided to print it in vertical position using one of the small surfaces as the base. And here I needed some small supports. But uh, at the end it was very easy to remove those supports and the result was uh, very different. And now the side is almost equal, only the first layer and here the supports are a little bit uglier, different from the other uh, flat surfaces. And uh, yes and no sides are now completely equal. And here they are side by side. And since I don't have any experience with these filaments, I have to know their possibilities. So I put them in, in the oven uh, to see when we, they, they form on what temperature. And this blue is only a regular PLA for comparison. And uh, keep in, in mind these results uh, before you print something for your car interior. And also I was very curious about that layer adhesion. So I printed some specimens in horizontal and vertical position. So I want to do some tensile tests with them. These are my test specimens printed in vertical position to check the layer adhesion. Only I have to cut these small supports. Four by four millimeter here. C 
still got uh, the weakest layer adhesion, but of course uh, this filament is not designed for mechanical parts. Then these are printed in horizontal position to check the material properties. Here I will have some bigger loads, so I will use a chain hoist. And here is my test specimen. Of course we don't buy silk or marble uh, filaments for mechanical specifications, but interesting to notice that uh, how black is inside this silk gold filament. I was just curious, so that's why I did this test. Silk gold is a little bit weaker here, but this is not a big difference between these three filaments. This is my equipment for impact test, uh, because I want to find out how brittle this material is, and it will be compared to the regular uh, PLA, which is actually very brittle material. Uh, since I don't have a holder for Sharpie or uh, ISO uh, test specimens, I will uh, I see the printed these M8 bolts printed in horizontal position uh, because for this I have holder already from my previous videos and um, it's not a perfect test for this but for comparison test uh, it will do the job. The impact test is based on hammer which will break the test specimen and swing to the other side and depend uh, what is the hake on the other side uh, I can calculate for difference of potential energy uh, how much energy is used for breaking the test specimen. So this is the length scale and this is the top position of the hammer where uh, there was no specimen in the, in the holder. And then this is the top position when the PLA bolt was placed inside the holder. And this is the top position for the gold silk filament. And this is the top position when the marble bolt was inside this holder. And just for reference, this is the top position when the ASA bolt was uh, broken with this one kilogram hammer. So calculation of the uh, breaking energy is the mass, which is one kilogram, uh, the weight of the hammer. Uh, G is 9.81 meter per square uh, seconds. And the difference, uh, everything is measured from this red line. For example, here you can see the difference, the height difference, but of course it has to be in meters to calculate, to get uh, the uh, breaking energy in joules. And here you can see all results. Well, that was my review of the silk or the marble PLA filaments by Azure Film. Uh, some of the STL files I will upload, you can find them on my website. I hope this was interesting or useful. Thank you for watching and happy printing. Should you subscribe? <laughs>